Hey guys, welcome to another M10 video. Today we're going to be looking at turbos. So if you want to learn what to look out for when trying to diagnose a bad turbo, stick around. Okay, so this is our bad turbo. This is a known bad turbo. And this turbo came out of a Ford Transit. Basically, the premise for all turbos are the same. They compress air and put that compressed air into the engine so an oxygen-rich mixture can cause a better ignition. With this, there's a few things that we can check to make sure that the turbo is at fault. So these are definitely first things I would check if you've got any kind of like lack of power issues or you think your turbo isn't kicking in. First thing I would do is the inlet. So the part of your system where your air filter is, there'll be a pipe that goes directly to your turbo and it'll connect to this side here. So this is where the air from outside of the car gets drawn in and then gets compressed in here. So when you take off that pipe and you can see this fin and you can see the turbine, first thing I would do is if you can grab that center shaft, give it a wiggle to see how much play there is. Because there is a little bit of a tall, there is a tolerance to these, but too much play like on this one, will cause that turbine to shake as it's working and it'll hit the outer sides and you'll get metal filings that go through your turbo and it'll just cause you big problems. So first thing I would do is feel for play in that bearing. Try to rotate it, see how that feels. It's easy to show you on this one because it's off, but the same would go for the exhaust side. It's not likely that you'd be able to get the turbo off and check that side without already committing to doing the turbo but you can feel one side of the turbo that fin inside because you've got turbines on both sides the exhaust and the inlet if you turn one the other should move as well and this one especially on the exhaust is really bad so first thing definitely check for play and check the condition of the fins on the turbine because when you have a look at them, you can see if they've been touching because they'll be shiny and jagged, whereas they should be nice, crisp and sharp. If the air gets drawn in through here, it gets spooled up and then leaves through this pipe, goes to your intercooler, which then goes to your inlet system. If the bearings have gone inside the turbo, it can allow oil from the internals to actually go through that system as well, because you shouldn't have any oil in your air intake. If you've got any kind of drips, then I'd say that you've got problems with your turbo and you need to investigate further. Another problem that you could have is if you're still not boosting, but you've checked these and they're fine, uh, it could be an issue with the wastegate. On this, it's electronic. In most cars, it's got a vacuum controlled wastegate. You could have a vacuum leak, which doesn't uh, allow it to boost properly, or you could have a leak anywhere in your intake system. But definitely, first things first, I would do these checks and go from there. So that's what I would check first when trying to diagnose a bad turbo. Remember, boost issues aren't only caused by the turbo itself, like the wastegate playing up, the EGR valve. Even if you've got a blocked DPF, sometimes that can cause enough back pressure to cause you boost issues. So but it doesn't always have to be the turbo. There are other factors as well. So best of luck diagnosing your turbo and see you next week. Cheers.